Yes, A okay. How you feeling, Craig? Well, slowly but surely better, but not good enough to uh come join you folks this morning. So, so I'm with I'm 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 with you virtually. I'm glad you're here at least virtually. That's wonderful. Well, we're, That's right. We're a teeny teeny group today. So I'm I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes to see if we might get a couple more people, but okay. Um, I think the, the rain has scared everyone today. <laughs> I don't know. I've shifted though. I'm a little bit more like middle of the road. So I Because you're raised like a child. Yeah. 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 He's the, he's the he wants to say it. Yeah, yeah, he's early morning. Yeah, early morning. Yeah, yeah, he's like gets up at Wasn't it amazing? You know, what happened when we noticed when we walked up from here and from here to Dover? Uh huh. So far, it's Good morning. I don't know your name. I know your face. Okay. Okay. I'm Nikki McDonald. Nikki McDonald. Okay. How was that your fair child? I know. I know you heard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm how are you, Reggie? Good, great. Yeah, they are the church and they have been. Yeah. They, they sit right in front of me and they have a church. I'm going to make sure they make it there. there. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to sit in a chair since <laughs> I'm going to sit over here. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Mary. Good to see you, bud. We're still not going to Based on the other game and Al, I I I actually made it to walk on my breakfast. <laughs> no, Mary is at home, I see. We're tripping here later. Oh, well, there we are. Hello. <laughs> Right. Okay, some of you have to eat donuts. We can't have that whole thing. <laughs> <Wait. Okay. laughs> Audrey, Audrey, a question from Mary. For those of us who are online, will somebody say just a word about why we're getting to see the audience and whether there's new technology? There is new technology. I actually wrote that um, in, in the email that I sent out to all of you, but I realized that I put a lot of stuff. 
<laughs> you don't see it, maybe not see it. Um, but we have to this out, which is making it so that it's easier for those online to hear us and see us. I thought that was R2D2. <laughs> or R2D2, yes, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's cousin. Um, and it's really wonderful. And thank you to Rich for getting it all set up and for it, it's much better because I felt so bad. There were a few weeks, I don't know if you all remember, but I couldn't. You couldn't, I couldn't hear, what was it? I couldn't hear you all. I think you all could hear me, but I couldn't hear you all. So it's good to, to have something that works well. Uh, and for, for people who are online, if you don't use gallery mode, you'll see the view of the um, chapel. Just, you know, you'll just see the view of the chapel larger. Yeah. I, I tried it. Oh, good, good. That's great. All right, well, Obviously, Craig is not here, which I'm very sad about. But Craig, we, I hope you're feeling, I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better. And hopefully you'll be back here before we know it. So thank you. Thank you. Glad you're online with us. Hello. I'm late. Well, we're just getting started because we're, we're all, we're all behind. If you're late, you have two donuts. <laughs> but Paul, you have to sit at one of these tables. You can't sit over there. <laughs> <laughs> so today I was thinking, um, especially with it being rainy and just kind of a little bit more quiet today, I thought, why not focus on our theme of peace, which is one of our four Advent themes. So we're going to be doing a few different contemplative exercises together, um, as well as uh, watch one of my favorite videos, which at first it may be like, seem to have anything to do with peace and Advent, but then you'll see as it goes that, that it does. So we'll go ahead and get started. And then I'm going to ask you all to grab a paper. So why don't we, and you can choose colorful paper or cream paper, whatever you, whatever your heart desires to do. One on Just one. I was just like, oh, pretty color. I'll grab some pretty colors. No chance for error here. <laughs> and Craig and Mary is back the online. If you can also um, grab something to write with, that will be that's true. That's very true. And nice, we've got a lot here. Yeah, yeah. You could just take take one of each if you want. We do need one of each. So, in thinking of this theme of peace, I think you all can see that. I want to, oh, let's see. How do I minimize this? There we go. For now. Oh, I want to see. see. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, that's not what I'm going to look at. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's What does peace look like for you in your life right now? What uh, is it something that far away may not be near or is it something that you felt a lot during this season what does peace look like for you right now yeah <laughs> there are no grandchildren in the house <laughs> very peaceful <laughs> and more importantly no none of our children <laughs> it's peaceful <laughs> i can imagine it's wonderful to have them but it's also nice to have some quiet as well yeah. and five. <laughs> <laughs> on mondays when russell is in school yeah. having a few hours <laughs> <laughs> yes, no sound yeah. Yeah, it's, it's actually interesting uh the encounter we had last night with the four jewish youth Mm -hmm. In the uh, uh, in uh, in the Morristown Green, mm -hmm. that why don't you say what it was? Okay, we you know, we were walking uh, on the Morristown Green, and there were uh, four Hasidic young men who actually came up and and said Happy Hanukkah and Are you Jewish and, and engaged in the conversation, uh, and and I, I I that actually felt like peace to me to have mm -hmm. that conversation there. Now the the. The counterpoint to that is that there were four uh, uh, Morristown policemen there to kind of act as as protectors of them. So that kind of hit against that. But but just the encounter itself at at at, uh, at the holiday season mm -hmm. that seemed to be uh, a sense of peace to me. Mm, that's beautiful. 
Honestly, I don't feel a lot of peace because of what's going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't, I feel peace in my home mm -hmm. because it's the two of us and it's not noisy, it's just peaceful, but I think what's going on is really disturbing. Yes. Yeah. So it's not peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. the case for a lot of us. Yeah. Who are, yeah. If you turn on the news at all, you know, and, and know what our extended yeah. family's got. Mm -hmm. I sometimes like to just sit in front of the Christmas tree in the dark mm. and put the lights on in the tree and just sit there and think of all the things, the blessings that we've been given over that mm. year. Mm -hmm. And it's my tradition to do that. And I, I do it by myself. And uh, just I do That's it every nice. time. Yeah. That's fantastic. Really nice. That's one of my favorite practices too, Gail. I do that a lot as well. Usually I have other people with me. I can't I get everybody out of the room, but but there's something about ha having it dark, and that's the only thing you're focusing on. Yeah. yeah. I find that I look for peace if I consciously remind myself that there are things that I can't control. Yeah. And I just have to accept that and right. just relax and let the world be what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for self care, that's really important and can be hard to do sometimes because I think for some of us it comes easier than others. Uh, Audrey, I don't know if you can see me. I'm trying to, yeah, but I feel, but I feel peace with the whole Christmas season because everyone is so kind to each other and happy. So it's last night's music performance. So it'll be the Christmas Eve service. And it's even getting together with grandchildren and all our families, even though there's chaos, uh, the yeah. spirit is, is very wonderful and peaceful. Oh, that's wonderful, Mary. I love that. Yeah, peace amidst chaos. We're going to be talking about that in a second, but I think that's something that, you know, e even extended chaos, like true chaos also, you know, you can still find find peace in it. That's wonderful. Thank you, Mary. When, when I remember <laughs> in the midst of all the busyness, mm -hmm. when I remember to think about what Christmas is about yeah. truly, yeah. And um, what my heart and mind should be focusing on, mm -hmm. then I can get the sound easily. right easily. So yeah. there is more a feeling of peace then. Yeah. Um, I don't always remember to do it, but I'm getting better. At yeah. It. Well, if I live another 50 years, I should be. Uh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I think, you know, I, oh I think it is God. a practice. Right, you know, that we have to keep going and to, you know, keep trying new things too, right? You know, one practice may not always fit all. Down here. John and Kathy, can you not hear us? I say, oh, well, try that. That'll give you the different kinds of views. It's not doing anything. Okay. I mean, we don't have a choice. Yeah, no, it says sign in. Just don't mute them while they're figuring that out. I feel bad. I wish I could help them. <laughs> All right, so we're going to look at a couple scriptures that tell us about peace and then the Hebrew and Greek um, sort of definition of peace. Um, anybody want to read this, this little, little scripture right here? Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, or he will speak peace to his people, to his saints, but let them not turn back to follow. I think I, I, you know, this is one example. Of, you know, there's so many scriptures of peace, both in the Old and New Testament. But, um, you know, to to really listen for God, to find peace in that, um, it's really hard sometimes, right? But it's really, really beautiful um, to to know that God is speaking peace to us. Yeah, it's it's, it's actually interesting the, the concept of speaking peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, which is different than that you know, than looking for peace, right. or finding peace, but yeah. speaking peace. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, and then this kind of moves us a little bit more towards Advent. Anyone else want to read this one for us? And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts. Praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. 
Yeah, so we have a, a, a different kind of piece, right? So it's a, a global piece here that we're talking about. Um, also coming from from God and, and that it's ensuing from God that it's bringing forth. But um, it's it's interesting that among those whom he favors, yeah, right. then that you know, then it's like who do you who do you know? You know all the people yeah, you, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Which, which I, I mean, I would interpret is everyone is who um, they're talking about here. Um, but the writer may have put a slight interpretation on that. Yeah, and and so it, it, it begs the question, why? Yeah, because I, I remember in our small group we actually looked at a lot of, of Luke passages. And, yeah, and he seemed to be very deliberate mm -hmm. in what he was trying to portray. So. Mm -hmm. It's curious as to why he he left all the rest of them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. You know, and it is interesting, especially for Luke, who's a more, I would say, holistically loving of everyone, you know, in inclusive, where the other gospels aren't as much. Um, and so maybe the you know the writer is, you know, saying, you know, think about this. There's more there's more people who got favors than maybe not. So, um, yeah, interesting passage. We could dive into that for a long time and dissect the group as well. Uh, All right, and then this is from Philippians. Well, I read this one. Common kind of, um, see this on refrigerator madness. It's the, there's, uh, I can't remember who it was. One of my professors in seminary said, there's refrigerator magnet verses, and this is one of them, but still beautiful, still captures this. Do not worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Isn't this powerful? Yeah. That, the, that the peace of God will protect us, you know, even and and is beyond what we can comprehend, which is very reassuring, you know, when we're like trying to understand something, it's like, okay, maybe we don't need to understand everything. God's peace has us, you know, and, and you know, while we can keep learning, we don't have to know everything. And that's- But I think it's interesting. This is definitely the peace of God, mm -hmm. whereas in the previous, it was peace on earth, yeah. which are very different seem to be very different pieces. Mm -hmm. But no, is that is that English or is that Greek is that true of Greek too that uh, there's somewhat one word meaning both. Yeah. So you know peace will be interpreted differently, you know, for a different text. While there's still kind of a general description of each, there is different interpretations. I'm not sure for this verse if it's different from the loop piece. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm like 99% sure that they're the same interpretation. Yes, so um, there'd be the counterpunch between peace between people mm -hmm, yeah. and peace between a person and God. Right. And those, I, I think, would uh, a peace between people probably means absence of conflict, uh, uh, ability to support, those kinds of things. But, but peace between a person and God is, mm -hmm. I think, something entirely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of the Greek, my dear, you're ahead of us. So I have, um, these are kind of the general interpretations. And for each passage, it looks different. But we have for, in Hebrew, shalom, which I should have Paul explain. <laughs> I'm not going to put you on the spot. And shalom? Yes. It's interesting that it says shalom. Not the spelling. Yeah, yeah, I got the yeah, I, I copied and pasted that from um it's the, Arabic sound. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I and I, I noticed that as I was and I quickly put this in this morning, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to put the, the Hebrew in. Well, and so I Shalom has multiple meanings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Yeah. Uh, peace. Yeah. It's like saying peace be with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are other meanings as well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, one of the um, other things that I think, you know, in, in, especially with the greeting, there's also this, you know, essence of that it's a, 
whole bodily safety, a health of the body as well. Um, that we're safe, you know, it, it's a safe space, but it's also our, our bodies are safe um, and we are, you know, complete. It's a, a wholeness. Um, Do you think that is that word sound mess? Oh, soundness. Soundness. Actually, sound mess is an interesting word too. Yeah, yeah. A few concerts that I've been. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, soundness embodied is is a, a sense of safety and health. Um, but I also like the idea of wholeness. That is, it's a piece that gives us, you know, full serenity in God. Completeness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we have a slightly different for the Greek version of peace or arini. Um, it's it's not as much about the the body and, and wholeness. Um, and wouldn't be used quite as much for a, a greeting, um, but is a sense of quietness. So a, a sort of state of mind of being quiet, um, often said sort of in conjunction with, with Christ and that in, in Christ we feel um, peace. So um, a little bit different, it's, it's kind of a separation from, from the body and kind of more of a, a state of, of mind. Um, uh, spiritual peace. Yes, yeah, much more sort of um, sort of in the head, you know, more than in the, in the body, which which I think is interesting. All right. So we have all these different definitions of of peace and what peace looks like in the Bible. Um, but what is the opposite of peace, and what do we do with um, this? You know, during what we often call the most wonderful time of the year, you know, being the Advent and Christmas season, um, how does peace may be different, you know, in, in the midst of chaos, especially in our world today? I think chaos is the opposite of peace. Yeah, yeah. You think violence. Violence. Yes, yeah. Uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Uncertainty, I like that, yeah. If I follow up on what I said before, it's when I forget who is in control mm. and who, what the reason is yeah. for this celebration this time of year. Yeah, uh, it's the when I get all caught up. Yeah. That is the lack of peace. Yeah, which is so easy to do. I mean, it's it's all wonderful and great, but it's also easy for us to, there's so many different things to do, you know, there, we're trying to please everyone, you know, but to recognize exactly. that you think you're doing it for everyone else, mm -hmm. but if it's causing you turmoil yeah. inside, yeah, it's not really doing what it should be doing. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I feel like I have to start with peace with myself before I can even think of peace for others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, maybe even a different way to ask the question is, and what disrupts peace? Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because the, um, uh, I, I'm not sure that, that that the opposite of peace is necessarily chaos. Mm -hmm. I mean, there can be peace in in in, in, in chaotic yeah. times, for yeah. example. But um, the things that I think disrupt peace are things like evil. Mm -hmm. I think evil disrupts peace just yeah. by its nature. Yeah. yeah. Just to add, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can yes. hear you, Craig. And you. Okay. Uh, just to add uh, on to that, um, to me, peace m means also truth. And the absence of peace is chaos, is lies, mm -hmm. is untruthfulness, um, panic, the, um, and and you could spend a whole whole uh, session on just the difference between uh, peace being truth, clarity of mind um, versus falsehoods or deception. You know those those kind of di dichotomies as well. Yeah, yeah. I think that's wonderful, Craig. Yeah, I think that there is uh, when there is disruption in 
peace. It can also cause fear, right? We can become scared of mm -hmm. what's going to happen next. That's because of the uncertainty, too, that yeah. the disruption causes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And as you get closer to Christmas, if you've ever gone to a mall mm -hmm. <laughs> or driving, yeah. it's really chaotic. Yeah. Which is the opposite, I think, of the peace. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it is so funny, you know. I, I've, I've even noticed, and I haven't really noticed this before. But even you know, sitting in the apartment next door, you know, you can hear the the roads very easily, and there's just so much more honking. There's so and skidding, you know, and just you know, a franticness that is kind of like whoa. <laughs> then I don't hear that at any other time, you know, it, to that level. Um, and I, I think that there is, you know, it's true as you get closer to Christmas, which is the opposite, obviously, of what we want to be feeling. That may be the reason that pe more people are buying gifts online. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal with the craziness. I, yeah. I kind of like the honking metric. It sounds weird, but, but I actually think that you could probably translate that into all kinds of insight. I think so. I think so. Yeah. The level of honking that's going. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's true. I think it's true. <laughs> is that a famous painting up there? No, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> I just. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I was looking for images of chaos, and I was like, oh, yeah, having to unwind like jewelry or any ribbon or anything. <laughs> to me. All right, I have um, a kind of unusual video, um, which some of you may have um, seen before. Um, it's an independent um, video. It's called Scared is Scared of All the Things You Like. Has anyone heard of it? No. Say it again. Scared is Scared of All the Things You Like. Mm -hmm. So this just popped into my head, and if you don't like it, just like close your ears, <laughs> think peaceful thoughts. First of all, I like peace. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. You know, but I, I've been thinking about you know how fear and the chaos of the world can really overcome our sense of peace, and what are the things, and who ultimately is the being who is with us in in the fearful and chaotic time. So. Let's listen to this. It's almost eight minutes, but it it, it goes fast. It's a lovely video. So. So, so did your mom? Did tell your mom you tell you what I'm doing? What I'm doing? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you have uh, anything yeah. you'd want to be a movie? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> I could, can't even, I don't even know what happened yes, yesterday. Hmm. I'm over with no words. No! Um, you can show the word start in a box, and then, and then you can make an equal sign, and then a box. Wait, the star would be orange. I mean, I mean, I'm um, green. The box would be green, and the star would be white. I can tell you a little story. Um, Ace of Bear and Toby Mouse story. Um, it's an Ace of Bear and a Toby who's a mouse. Okay, so we'll have someone pretend to be a bear mm -hmm. and pretend to be a mouse. Mm -hmm. Like somebody small and somebody big. There was an Ace of Bear who lived in the middle, um, I mean in the woods, and there was a Toby Mouse who lived in the stone wall with his six brothers and seven, six sisters. Um, and one day, the um, big, enormous, great Ace of Bear um, decided, told to the little Toby Mouse, I, I think we should go to the swimming room. Um, pool. The eight Toby Mouse agreed. Only the swimming pool won't be real. It will just like kind of be a big circle of cardboard that you painted blue, so that um um and then black waves. Oh, why not a real swimming pool? Um, because then their costumes would get all wet. But they could do that. They went to the um pool. 
And the Toby Mouse put his feet in, and the Asa Bear jumped right in. I would, I would, I would do all this. I would do sound effects. Too. Audrey, the computer audio is not coming through the Zoom. Let me dive in. Let me favor Tommy. Oh, I did. I, I'm getting the computer audio fine. You're getting it fine. Okay. I'm just gonna stop sharing for a second. See if that makes any. Watch as her fingers never leave her hand. <laughs> I mean, no worries. You can send me the link later, but uh, I'm sorry, Craig. Let's share sound. Is not even be mine. Mine on the stereo. Let me yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Craig. I I will I will send it to you later. I, there's I think we're about halfway through. It is not peace. It is not peace. <laughs> the child screaming. Yeah. I've got to watch this movie. <laughs> <not peace. laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whoever it is, it's not giving up. <laughs> Let's close it. At their time. <laughs> Ready. On his fur, on the on his back, and he jumped on the on off of the diving board into the pool. Um, when the Toby Mouse was ready, and it, they had a very very fun time. There, the, then it was time to go home, and they were like. I wish we could come back again. No, why shouldn't we have, why can't we have another time here? Because I thought, but the swimming pool is closing up for the whole winter. Okay, we can have it next spring. And, and they went home, the end. And the end would be written in orange, and then the whole box would be white. The funniest this story is you don't really want to go when something's closing because then you'll have to wait to go back there. Yeah. I'm about to graduate in three weeks and it sort of feels like my school is closing for me, you know? Yeah. Um, if, like, something feels like you're, you're closing, you, sh you should just say, okay. I'm fine. I usually let it go. I just think think of something that I really like to do and you just you just think of something else until the the nervous has gone out of you. I let that thing disappear out of my head, out of my ears, out of my mouth. It's just like oh, I'm scared of this thing. When the scared feeling comes into you, the scared is scared of things you like. So um, I was scared of a monster, and I thought of pizza and juice and some and some meringues and a cookie, chocolate chip cookie. I mean oatmeal cookie. <laughs> And then I ate it all up, and some milk. And the cookie was shaped like a piano, a keyboard, I mean. Yeah, oh, that's true. That's good advice. That's why I just need to think of things I like when I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Scared of all the things you can lie.
So what are Asa Bear and Toby Mouse going to do when the pool closes? They have so much that they can do in winter. There are stories about winter. There are stories about um, other th things. I, I have heard they once even had a sleepover without telling their moms. So it's a happy ending. Mm-hmm. It is. Are you hungry? Yes. For cookies and red sauce and pizza. Pizza. by the, the girl who's narrating um, it was her final project for her undergrad and it was a, a, a you know, she's a theater major and so that was her um, her final project was and she I, I still I haven't been able to figure out who the who Asa is the little boy who she's interviewing um, I think it's a, a relative of hers so um, that's who she's helping tell tell the story um, all right, before we get to that, any reflections on this video? I really like the, the, and the way that, uh, uh, that Asa, I guess, has mm -hmm. found uh, uh, a way to uh, bring peace to, to himself mm -hmm. by thinking of the things that were his most favorite thing. All right, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and then for her to translate that into her her life. Those are that's a that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a really good technique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a, a coping mechanism, you know, so to speak, <clears throat> which is um for a I think I think Asa's at, at this point seven, you know, <laughs> to to have you know something like that. It's like wow, I wish I had that level of that's another thing that how much you can learn from kids if yeah. you listen to them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. It seems like what, this is as much as about peace and learning is about dealing with transitions mm -hmm. and the uncertainty of what comes next. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, not, you know, the unknown, you know, can be scary, it can be chaotic, you can be fearful of it. Um, but to be able to find peace in that in those transitions um, is is really powerful. It's one of the therapeutic techniques that we learn in you know, psychology yeah. of shifting your cognition to a more pleasant scene, mm -hmm. and um, it does seem to work. And meditation mm -hmm. is also one of the treatments mm -hmm. for anxiety yeah. and uh, you said before can we think of any time when we felt peaceful mm -hmm. when i was in graduate school we had a course in the various techniques for dealing with anxiety and meditation was one of them and mm -hmm. i remember uh, feeling as if you were in a cloud. It's mm -hmm. how deep you know we went, and uh, it's a very powerful technique of you know shifting your your thoughts. And sometimes you only have to shift. You just uh, repeating and repeating a mantra. Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll get you there as well. Yeah. But uh, I felt probably the most peaceful 
in that exercise. It was pretty wonderful. That's a, your, you have perfect timing. We were, um, in grief group, we were just talking about meditation and mindfulness as a app, you know, as something as a coping mechanism um, in grief, you know, but obviously can be used in so many different areas mm. of our life as well. I'm thinking of a, of, a, of, a, of a poor actors who, when they're actually writing the script based on what Ace is saying, yeah. oh, you have to get in our costume and then go swimming. And, yeah. and, yeah. <laughs> Drown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all about all about the storyteller for, yeah, for this yeah, one. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. We're gonna do a few prompts. We have a little bit of time. Um, so grab your your papers and pens or pencils. Um, and we're gonna do a few different. I'm gonna keep track of the time and not go too long. Maybe to skip have to skip a couple of these prompts. Um, but we'll get through as many as we can. Um, and then we'll end with writing a prayer, which will be inspired by all these different prompts about peace. So list as many moments as possible when you have felt most at peace, where you have gotten away from the scared or if you want to do fear or chaos. So list as many different moments as you can. We'll give 30 seconds to a minute to do that. All right, we're going to move on to the next comment. So list some places that you feel peaceful. So your favorite spots where you feel most at peace. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. So look at your list, um, and it can it can be either list, but especially the first list, and choose either one of the times or one of the places when you are most peaceful, and describe it just a little bit more, just a couple more sentences about that moment or that place.
Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. So um, I want you to think of a different kind of moment. So different kind of moment of peace. So describe a time or a moment um, when you felt peace, when you were either sad, it can be sad or unhappy or, or scared. Um, a moment where you were, where kind of either God intercepted or some, someone intercepted where you felt it at peace for a moment. Nice bridge. Right. This one should be quick, but what are three words or phrases, or you can, if you want to move into music um, or musical pieces that come to mind when you think of peace? So a word or phrase or a piece of music that comes to mind. All right. So what is one thing that you can do right now to be more connected to peace? What is one thing that you can do even in the next couple of days that um, can make you feel more connected to peace? All right. So I, there's something about rewriting um, scripture that I really like to do, and there's something about putting it in your own words that I think is really wonderful. So I want you to rewrite this psalm, um, and this is kind of moving from peace to joy, so we're kind of peeking ahead to next week a little bit, um, but put this in the first person. Um, you know, we see there um, and those, but put it in the first person, you know, just this, this short um, couple of verses.
Right. We have our our interpretations. Uh, both according to Phil and your name. All right, we're gonna finish with this. Um just a little bit of prayer writing. Um so we named all these places, all these moments where we felt peace and also the times when maybe we didn't feel peace, but we found little tiny tokens of peace. In the midst of the chaos. So I want you to think about yourself today and write a prayer telling God about your relationship with peace, how you're feeling about peace right now, and tell God where you or you're thinking of someone else in your life um, who needs peace today. So where in either than your life or um, someone else um, who needs peace today.
All right, we're going to wrap up our prayers for now. We can always continue them later. How did that feel writing out all those different things about peace? Actually, pretty cool. Yeah. Any favorite prompts or anything that really resonated with you? I keep coming back to the <clears throat> serenity where it says God mm. ready to serenity you accept yeah. the things I cannot change, courage change, but I can't add the wisdom to know the difference, which is so hard sometimes. So hard, right? It's it's it's, it's impossible when you're like, what's going on? You know the frustration of trying to change things you can't change. Yeah, yeah. You can't have peace. Mm -mm. No, no. And it's but you want to change things so badly, you know, sometimes. So it's really, really hard. I like the way you structured this because each answer was somehow based on what went before it, yes. which I don't think would have occurred if that had been the first question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely have to build with these, you know, there's a lot of complicated feelings, right, that we have around peace and, and hope and chaos and fear and um sometimes we need to take baby steps even even in the in these demons yeah through the process was uh, it actually allowed us to unfold mm -hmm. our understanding of how we do this and, 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 i mean how you structured this i can really agree with mickey it was very very mm -hmm. Very well done. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, very well crafted. I'm glad. Uh, I like the way you unfolded your paper. I know. Yeah. Uh, the unfolding. Yeah. All right, friends. Well, it was a, a joy to be with you all. And I uh, thank you to everybody online. And Craig, I hope you feel better. And I wish that you could have been teaching today, but I'm glad that you joined us online too. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone. We will um, see you next week. And we're going to get back to music. So um, I had the one with the the video. I was like, okay, there's one song in here with the scared and scared of all the things you like. But um, we'll have more musical emphasis next week. So, <laughs> so thank, thank you. you. Thank you. you. Bye, Craig. I'll see you soon. Feel better.